you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. All right, let us see. Uh, okay, we have somebody we want to talk to. Let us see. My internet. So CP. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hey, so I, I wanted to give you uh, <laughs> my top reason why I believe Islam is false. All right. Um, so I, um, I started uh, reading the Quran uh, a while ago. I had a friend, she was uh, Muslim. So she started telling me Jesus wasn't crucified and all kind of stuff. So I read her book and um, I finished the book in like three to six months. I, just, I couldn't put it down and it wasn't because it was so good. It's just because of how stupid it was, how blasphemous it was against uh, what we believe uh, as Christians. And uh, I slowly started to realize when I started debating Muslims that Islam is like the religion of I don't know. And what I exactly. mean is like, like you ask some questions like, okay, well, who is Isa? Or, you know, Allahu Alam. Or uh, who was uh, on the cross if it wasn't Jesus? I don't know. Uh, if, well, what is Allah? I don't know. You know, like, uh, why does the uh, Quran call Christians uh, people of the book uh, if our book is corrupted? I don't know. Why is Muhammad in the Bible? I don't know. So it's like you you ask them simple, basic questions, and it's like what the caller said before, anyone with actual knowledge, uh, they run away from, they don't have any answers. I'm glad, my friend, to meet someone smart like you, but let us start with the first one. You remember, like you said, uh, uh, who was in the cross, right? Jesus, he, Allah, he replaced him, right? Right. But this is confirmed our Bible. Right. Because this is what we saw, and that the honest people is the one who write down what they saw. So then, exactly. then, then the idiot, Muhammad, six hundred years after, he say, uh, 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 "That was not Jesus," <laughs> you know, like hello, hello, hello. It's like a prank, you know. What the heck is that? This is God or this is a joke, you know? So right. Allah, Allah was making a prank. He put someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. But he looked like Jesus, so they thought he's Jesus. But Jesus was not Jesus. But Jesus was on the cross, and his mother she thought it's Jesus, but it's not Jesus. So Allah, he took the real Jesus, but he delivered over for Jesus. And the Christian they thought it's Jesus, so it's not Jesus. <laughs> what the heck is that? So what but we want to know? What we learn from this story that Allah is a cheater, is a liar, right? And he's a kid, but, you know. But you want to know something that's that's really funny. I um so once I started realizing this. Uh, I made a TikTok account. I posted one video about Islam because I had studied it for a while and the video got so many views and that's when I realized, okay, like this is, uh, a lot of Christians don't know anything about Islam, especially here in the West. So I was like, let me make this account so I can kind of educate some people on it based on the Christian perspective. What's so funny about specifically what you're talking about, Sir 4 verse 157 says, uh, it was made to appear that Jesus was crucified, right? Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. if you keep reading, it says the people who argue or talk about yeah, the crucifixion sure. have no knowledge. But what's interesting is like, if you look at the Islamic sources, like uh, you look at um, uh, any like tafsir about it, the Muslims, the Abdul, they have different <laughs> interpretations of what happens. Some exactly. Like, uh, each one of uh, them, he Kassir, give you, each one of them, he, he, he give you his, his, own his own cartoon, <laughs> his own version of the cartoon. <laughs> It's like I was I was uh, I did a, a live stream on it the other day. Um, I think it was ill. I think it was uh, Ibn Kathir. He says he doesn't know. But then if you go to Tafsir al Tabari, it gives like eight different uh, uh, people that it may have been. Then if you go to like uh, I think it was um, uh, who's the cousin of um, of, of Muhammad? It's on al Tafsir .com. I can't remember. Uh, 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 Abbas, Abbas, the uncle but, and the cousin. Uh, yeah. His yeah, yes, 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 Abbas. Yeah, he yeah. says that it was some some guy named um, Tetlanus or something like that. And then uh, there's a Sheikh um, Imran Hussein. He he's now saying that he wasn't even crucified. I mean that he was crucified, but then Allah just gave him back his body, which again confirms what the Bible says. It's like you might as well just become a Christian at this point. This religion is 
I don't understand why anybody who has any common sense would be a Muslim. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad that there is Christians like you, my friend. You sound like a smart person. And uh, invite your friends here. So all of uh, all, all of those who they are seeking knowledge, they can increase. Uh, and you yourself, you can learn more and you can fight it. So I hope I encourage you, actually, not just to, you know, like, okay, we we'll learn something. Islam is funny. I encourage you to spread the information between your friends, your people, whoever you are, wherever you live, and TikTok, etc. So people, they will see the truth, and the truth really is ugly about this cult. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. I like to see, well, you know, uh, the Christians, you know, firm. They study. They knew what they are talking about. And they can confront the lies of Muhammad and his genies. <laughs> uh, I'm most saying Islam is true. I'm afraid this is ultimate fault. He, he will not give up. <laughs> Let us call him. <laughs> okay. Hello? Ultimate? Hello? Hello? Okay, go on. We spank you, enough. That's it. My, I, I cannot, I cannot keep my hand dirty every day. He was going again. That's it. Because he is, he is, you know, he was horribly, horribly became pieces. He, I know this will happen now. He will keep parking and stop. That's it. I call you. You said record it, post it, and let everybody laugh. Okay, that's what happened. Okay. Potato. Hello? Yeah, please turn off your camera. Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is uh, Stefan and I'm a Christian um, right. from Romania. I live in UK though. All right. And um, I think um, it's funny when Muslims try to go to the Bible to prove something of the Quran a while um, you know, saying it's corrupt. And what's more funny is that they say they follow the same God. But if you go in the book of Isaiah, for example, starting from chapter 13 up to 25 or 26, the God of the Bible promised to destroy all Muslim nations like Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, um, you know, Jordan, uh, uh, Iran, Persia. And um, I was wondering how do how do they go around it? I mean, um, if you're gonna ever ask a Muslim, I'm just curious how it's going. Yeah, to but you know, this is this is another reason. No, you see, uh, we have to be careful here. If God He promised to destroy nations, uh, you need to remember at that time those nations are not even Muslims, right? So this is not really a valid argument. The valid argument is, first of all, the God of Islam is not a spirit. Our God is a spirit. Isn't it God? He says he created the whole you know, earth and uh, his spirit was over, uh, above the water from the beginning, right? So the nature of the God of Islam is not the same nature of our God. The God of yeah, Islam, yeah. he have a body. Yeah, he have. Yes, he, his, uh, their God, he have a body, but he don't have a spirit. So that's mean, obviously, their God is not our God. Because this is something the Jews and the Christian agree upon. It's not like Christianity or, you know, this is Jews and Christians agree that God has a spirit. And uh, uh, God, he came to Abraham as a man. The Muslim refused that idea. So their God cannot come as a man. Their God cannot be a man. Their God cannot have a son. Their God don't, don't have a spirit. So what is left about this God? What is left is a piece of concrete. They claim that nothing like him, but who care? He is, if he have no spirit, then he is not alive because the spirit means life. Spirit. The only thing that their God is a transformer, you know. And He's a transformer. Yeah, like no, he he, he will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew exactly. So how 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 you refuse that God have a shape because shape, you know, they say that Jesus, he's God. Okay, then how he can be inside his creation if if the flesh is a creation of God. Then how he can be inside? The, well, he is God. This is why God. There's nothing, nothing impossible for him. That's why we call him God. And then we find that their God Himself, He have a shape, and He even He go down between the seventh heaven and the, and the first heaven, and even He change His shape, and the shape is His creation. 
All right, my friend? Yeah. Yes, and not only that, it's very funny, for example, if you look at uh, the Pact of Umar, uh, in the, uh, you know, in the Quran, uh, Allah give, uh, give to Jews, the Israel, yet uh, Umar, Uthman itself, goes to conquer the, um, the Jew lands. It's kind of funny, the same. Um, I think everything they do, it's kind of funny, even the guy uh, with Palestine, you see? Uh, they don't say, oh, poor Jews, what we've done to them in 7th century. They never say that. They never uh, consider, for example, let's, um, let's correct our uh, wrongdoing towards the Jews. Yet even today, they, they do the same thing. Yeah. So, well, because it's an, it's an evil cult and they, they seek a privilege, but they don't give rights. Which means they ask you for a right, human right, when it is for them, but they will not give you the same human right they ask for themselves. So like they go in the West, you will see a Muslim complaining about uh, hate crime, but in his mosque, he teach hate <laughs> against the Christians, you know, and violence. Well, yeah. I want to thank God, you know, for people like you, because I've learned a lot. I'm following you for thank you, my friend. Years now. I went to I went to Romania, I think last time I was there in uh, 2009. I saw your video posted from Constanza or somewhere. Yeah, and, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. And um, um, I've used some of your arguments with the Muslim in uh, Romania on TikTok, for example, when they do live stream and they block me right away without even answering or anything. They don't even read the question. <laughs> yeah, because they get scared. Exactly. Well, thank you, my friend, for calling. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for your work and keep keep up. Keep thank up you. the good work. All thank the you. Lord. Thank you. I'm God bless you. Bye-bye. All right. <clears throat> We have uh, somebody, let us see. <clears throat> and available, well, a person says, well, uh, and then call decline. So why you are saying, you want, why you are calling? Just to say hello? Okay. Uh, let us see this person. <clears throat> Hello? Not called yet. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, Christian Prince. I'm a Charlie from. Okay. I want uh, I want to uh, express my uh, great gratitude because I know you and uh, last year I was introduced to your channel and and uh, I used to share the gospel with Chinese and since I know you, I share the gospel with Muslim in the streets and with my college and with, uh, with my friends. And I think uh, I'm, so, I'm so thankful to the Lord that I can know you and you, you have been my inspiration in, the, in all of my life. And, and also I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and and every time, every time I I'm down, I I feel like uh, I feel like I'm in a long episode, and I I use I always uh, hear your voice, and I think uh, it is a, a gift from God, and I'm so thankful to know you, and you you make us uh, hopeful in reaching out uh, Muslims, you know, even though we we cannot find anyone who believed yet. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, my dear sister, I'm happy that you are doing great and you are learning and you're getting benefit of our program. And we pray that the Lord, he heal you from any illness and you will be better and better. So you live in China, or like if you like to say, are you, are you Chinese? Yeah, I'm Chinese and I live in Indonesia. All right. OK, well, I'm, uh, yeah. you know, I'm happy that you are learning and we pray that the Lord will use you uh, in a good way uh, to save more people and to heal you, too. And we ask all the people here to pray to our sister, uh, to pray for her to be healed. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what is the name of the diagnosis you said. I'm not a doctor, as you know, like I'm, I'm a doctor only in Islam. So I don't know really much about about the name you mentioned. But whatever it is, we pray that the Lord will save you and heal you and keep you safe. All right. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Christian Prince. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, sister. God bless. Um,
is this is of CP official Skype? Yes. Uh, okay, look like we don't have more. Let's see, do you have one here? Okay, can you call me? We will call you, no problem. <clears throat> it says unavailable. Be sure, be sure when you ask me to call you, like maybe you should add me first. Uh, I don't know why you are saying to me, can you call me and then call the client? Doesn't make sense. Um, well, it was a it was a great to hear some Christians, and we can take take more calls. Uh, I, actually, I think I like this idea: people calling Christians and see how much they learn, and uh, uh, you know, like uh, we share together our experience with this cult and how we can together we can save the Muslims from their false prophet. You cannot call me; you have to take my call. When I call you, I call you. You cannot. Uh, it was it was fun talking to you guys and I'm so glad that Christians are learning more and more and I hope we will have more uh, young generation in the future they can uh, take the Muslims into their challenge and prove them wrong uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, Say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure. We have Hussein.